The Anaheim Angels have the most exciting player of my generation. I mean, this this guy, Otani, what he's doing is just the stuff of legends, yet you don't feel the presence here in the city of Los Angeles or even now in this back half of the, of the season with all the attention being put on him at the All-Star break. You know, Anaheim not being a, a real contender, a serious contender. What do you think that does to just sort of his long-term plans in Anaheim? Do you see Otani... Uh, maybe yeah. having a change of scenery in, in, in coming seasons. Yeah. I would think if that continues, it shortens his time in Anaheim. Um, I, look, I, I think if you, you know, you, you look back on, on the history and the pursuit of Otani and the list that he wrote, I think when he was in high school of the things he wanted to accomplish at certain ages. Um, and they were lofty, including like having a, a daughter and a son and getting married and winning a World Series and being an MVP, all those things are on these lists that he may come to find that that Los Angeles with this team isn't the isn't the right place for me to accomplish those goals. Um, he se- certainly seems worldly. He was unanimously uh, enamored and accepted at the All Star Game for what he was doing. So he's he's making friends throughout the game um, and look moving from country to country is a very difficult thing, but he seems to have been able to now thread the needle and other people have taken note. Like uh, we would love to have 10 of those on our team. If we could find them, he's incredible. He's fast. He's gifted as a pitcher and a hitter. He's just everything you'd want. So I think he strikes you if you're willing to up and leave a country and go to a, to play Major League Baseball, you're willing to up and leave a franchise and go do it somewhere where you recognize those those pinstripe people from New York. Is that, that seems like something I may want to investigate uh, now that I know about some of them and see what New York is about or that team up the road that has those pretty white and blue uniforms. That, that might be interesting for me. Or I want to go live in the middle of the country and I know how good the Chicago Cubs are and I love their manager. I think all those things are are in play for them. I think we do forget they also play with, he also plays with Mike Trout, and we just haven't been able to enjoy the two of them. But look, the Angels are nowhere near where those other, where those other teams in that, in that area of the country are. They're not the Padres, they're not the Giants, they're not the Dodgers. And I love Joe Madden, and I like his willingness to do things, but they, they, they need such an overhaul of pitching talent on both the starting and bullpen staffs that. It's it's not next year. It doesn't feel like it's two years. It it just constantly feels like I don't know. You you know you know the big dig. Remember the big dig in Boston? I know your dad probably does, but they they, they had the big dig going, which was the construction of an underground tunnel, which would allow folks from the west to drive to Logan Airport. It took like nine years. Like the Angels are the big dig of Major League Baseball. <laughs> it just takes forever. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.